Hello everyone, we're all good. Big shout out to everyone who likes, shares, comments and subscribes to the All or Not On podcast with myself, Billy Moore. Immigration, I don't really speak about it because it becomes really political. It divides, you know, the audience on YouTube. There's a controversial kick-off in the comments. People's anger and frustration surface and you can understand the reasons why. You know, we live in a in a time of like mass immigration. I was watching a bit of morning TV, Jeremy Vine. Now, there was a topic about the government paying rejected asylum seekers £3,000 if they leave the UK and go to Rwanda. France don't want them no more. That's the reality. They've got their own reasons. You know, and I'm not against immigration, it's just the volume of it. You know, it's, it's 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 wave after wave after wave, you know, and it's the cultural difference, the language barrier, the problems that it's creating. You know, but if they're giving three thousand pound, yeah, to each individual who has rejected asylum seekers status in the UK, then can you imagine a hundred thousand asylum seekers being rejected? That's three hundred million pound. That the government are wasting, yeah, are wasting, are giving freely away when it could be used on the homeless epidemic in the UK. It could be used on, you know, the crisis that we are going through in the UK. People standing in food banks, you know, in big queues. People who are in prison who need rehabilitating. And prepared for the release because that doesn't happen. They get put in prison and it's a medical round. No one's helping them. No one's rehabilitating them. No one's putting them on the right path. It's just a holding cell till you get out and commit that cycle of crime again. That's what happens. Right, so money needs to be injected into our society and our community. Now the calls that were coming in and the, and, and the questions that were fired at Jeremy were like, you know, why don't we look after our own? You know, these people are coming over here, they're unhappy with this baby Stockholm, this boat in Dorset. They don't like the accommodation that they're being given. They'd, they'd rather be in hotels or, you know, big houses on council estates, you know, dividing communities and not wanting to fit in and not wanting to be a part of our culture, which, you know, I, I can understand as well, you know. Would we go to another country and want to be a part of their culture and fit in? I don't know. Well, I do. I do. I do know I did. I went to Thailand and wanted to be Thai. <laughs> I think if you, you talk about this stuff, you, know, you can be called a racist, which is unfair. And I think that's a cop-out. Get attacked for, for having their voice or their view. Okay, it's an opinion. Everyone's got them, you know but value their opinion. Now, I just thought that was a bit of a mad one, that three grand. Because if I was, you know, living a, abroad and I was seeking asylum in the UK, and someone said, they get on this bill, right? See those in the UK, they're getting three grand. You know, when they trespass or illegally enter the country and get rejected, they get three quid anyway. I know I'm going to go over there illegally get rejected but get three quid at the same time i mean it's a win-win let's have it right it just does not make sense so yeah that was on the tv that's what the government you know are looking to do anyway once again thanks for watching and take care